People are wondering about termites and wood chips. They're worried about getting a load of you know wood chips delivered to their home and having an infestation of termites all of a sudden occur. Or they build up some hugu culture mounds and next thing you know they got termites crawling up their walls. Here's what I'm gonna say about it. I've gotten literally 30 or more 20 yard loads of wood chips delivered from multiple tree service companies and I've never seen a single termite. Is that luck of the draw? Perhaps that, uh, if you were to get some wood chips from a company and if they were to actually um, cut down a tree that had been killed by termites and then deliver those wood chips to you, that's highly questionable to me. It's hard to believe that that would be the case, but I'm sure it could happen. And what I want to do right now is aim to try to put your mind at ease. This is what I would do. I would use something called diatomaceous earth. Now, you can get this online. You can get it at your local feed store. Um, I use it as a supplement. I actually eat it. It's what it is is um, fossilized remains of a single-celled plant or algae, and it's very plentiful. It has all sorts of applications, but one of them is when you put it in your garden or you sprinkle it around your plants, it works as a pest control because what it actually does is it slices up the outside layer of an insect and dehydrates it and they die rather quickly it can work with all sorts of different insects whether it be ants termites uh, cockroaches so diatomaceous earth is organic it's natural and it's definitely the way to go so if i were concerned or if i wanted to be preventative as far as like making sure termites didn't come into my uh, landscape I would just put like a 40 pound bag of diatomaceous earth spread it throughout the wood chips when they when they arrived and if that puts your mind at ease I'd, I'd say that's worth the 20 25 dollar investment to do that right so I, I am a bit concerned that folks aren't moving forward with some of the easier ways to garden here like you know putting down wood chips in your pathways and mulching around your plants to conserve water and to also build your organic matter in your soil because they're scared of these type of things and on a side note there's a gentleman by the name of Paul Stamets. Uh, many of you have probably heard of him, but he's a fungi expert and he's done TED Talks, he has a website, he's written books, and he actually has a patent on a mycelium uh, slash mushroom spore that will actually kill termites and fire ants and probably other insects too. But the reason why that ha that product hasn't come to market yet is because he's, I guess he's in battle with the powers that be. You know, there's a financial incentive there to keep things the way they are. So it's a sad thing, you know. It's man and nature working together. We've got the answers out there. So there's really nothing to be afraid of. I'd say go forward, just do it. Um, put wood chips around your plants. It's an amazing resource. If you can get it free, um, there's really nothing better. If all you need to do is pay a small price, um, I'd say go for it. So hopefully that answers the question. Um, no, I've never had termites show up over here. I'm not concerned about it. You, you just heard about the way I deal with it and I'd recommend the same for yourself. Um, but again, to each his own. I mean, you need to weigh, you need to weigh the possibilities and make the best decision for yourself. But you know what? When I look at a hugo culture mound like this, and I look at what wood chips have done for my landscape and my plants, there's no way that I would change a thing. And I'm very happy for the decisions that I've made. And so I just want to encourage folks to be a problem solver and not be afraid. You know, there's pretty much an answer for just about every problem out there. So I like to lean towards nature and look at the natural remedies for everything and try to work along that line and it's done well by me so so that's it for now everybody i appreciate you guys tuning in and for hearing me rant on the subject and hopefully i answered the question like i said there's been quite a few people asking me the same question about the termites so all right everybody the sun's going down it's a beautiful evening got the tank top on and i'm doing a little watering and a lot of people have been asking me about watering in a california drought too so I'll be addressing that very soon as well. Anyway, everybody, hope this video finds you and finds you well. I'll be coming at you again real soon with some more content, so stay tuned. Cheers.